Welcome to UK Learnings. After watch this video please subscribe to give us your support. And don't forget to click bell icon to get more videos. You are driving along when you suddenly see a motorcyclist lying unconscious in the road. No other vehicle was involved. What is the first thing you should do? Remove the motorcyclist's helmet. Get the motorcyclist off the road. Move the motorcycle off the road. Warn other drivers. The answer is warn other drivers. You should warn other drivers so that the collision and further injuries can be avoided. On what kind of road would you be most affected by a side wind, a busy road, a tree-lined road, a country road, an open road? The answer is an open road. Strong winds affect open roads the most because there are no obstructions to the wind. If you use a hands-free phone while you are driving, you are likely to have better concentration. Have normal concentration? It's just like listening to the radio. Have your attention diverted? Have your view restricted? The answer is have your attention diverted. Even though using a hands-free phone is safer than using a handheld phone, it is still distracting. You want to turn left into a side street, but there are pedestrians crossing the road. What should you do? Drive behind them. Wait until they have crossed. Sound your horn to make them aware that you want to turn. Drive in front of them. The answer is wait until they have crossed. You should wait until they have crossed. Pedestrians have right of way under these circumstances. If you are driving through a tunnel, you must switch on your windscreen wipers. Make sure that your rear fog lights are on. Keep your eyes open for variable road signs. Make sure that your air conditioning is working properly. The answer is keep your eyes open for variable road signs. The rules and regulations in tunnels may vary depending on conditions, so you must look out for road signs. When are you allowed to stop on a clear way? During the day. Once rush hour is over. At night. Never. The answer is never. So that traffic on a clear way can flow without being obstructed. You are never allowed to stop on a clear way. You are driving when your mobile phone starts to ring. What should you do? Answer it straight away and have your conversation. Stop the car in a safe place and then answer it. Stop the car immediately and then answer it. Answer it straight away and tell the person that you will call back later. The answer is stop the car in a safe place and then answer it. You must stop the car before you speak on a mobile phone. But do so in a safe place so that neither you nor other road users will be placed in any danger. Following too closely behind a large vehicle is not a good idea because you will get pulled along in its slipstream. Your view will be impeded. You will have to keep braking and your brakes will overheat. You will have to keep slowing down and speeding up and your engine will overheat. The answer is your view will be impeded. You should stay well back so that you can have a clear view of the road and other users. A long, heavy vehicle is trying to overtake you. But it is taking a long time. What should you do? Speed up so that it can pull back in behind you. Slow down so that it can overtake you more quickly. Change direction or stop so that it can get past you. Keep driving at the same speed. It will get past you soon. The answer is slow down so that it can overtake you more quickly. You should slow down so that the long, heavy vehicle can get past you as quickly as possible. Before you stop your car, you must indicate as soon as you think about pulling over until you find a safe place to make the maneuver. Check your mirrors to see if other road users will be affected by your maneuver. Flash your headlights to let other road users know that you are about to do something. Indicate and pull over immediately. The answer is check your mirrors to see if other road users will be affected by your maneuver. Before you stop your car, you must check your mirrors so that you can make an informed decision about when you can make your maneuver safely. You are driving along the middle lane of a three-lane motorway. What is the national speed limit for motor cars in this lane? 40 miles per hour, 70 miles per hour, 50 miles per hour, 60 miles per hour. The answer is 70 miles per hour. The national speed limit for motor cars on a motorway is 70 miles per hour. 
You have two 12-year-old children and one of their parents in your car. The children are in the rear seat. Whose responsibility is it to make sure that the children are wearing seat belts? Yours. No ones. The children are sitting in the rear, so they don't need to wear seat belts. The parents. The children's. The answer is yours. It is the driver's responsibility to make sure that all passengers under 14 years of age are wearing seat belts. It is illegal to overload a vehicle. Who is legally responsible for this? The registered keeper of the vehicle. The person who loaded the vehicle. The driver of the vehicle. The person to whom the loaded items belong. The answer is the driver of the vehicle. The driver is always responsible for all things associated with the vehicle regardless of who the registered keeper is. Although this could be the same person. What are traffic calming measures used for? Helping drivers to park. Helping drivers to overtake. Slowing traffic down. Reducing road rage incidents. The answer is slowing traffic down. Traffic calming measures are used to slow traffic down. It is raining, so you are keeping a safe distance from the vehicle in front. Another vehicle overtakes you and pulls into the gap. What should you do? Flash your headlights to let the driver know that you are annoyed. Try to overtake as soon as you can. Drop back so that there will be a safe distance again. Close the distance until the vehicle moves on. The answer is drop back so that there will be a safe distance again. You should drop back to a safe distance from the vehicle that has overtaken taken you. Provided the vehicle is kept off the road, the statutory off-road notification, SON, is valid until your vehicle is taxed, sold, scrapped, or permanently exported. As long as the vehicle has a valid MO certificate for 6 or 12 months. As long as the vehicle is insured, the answer is until your vehicle is taxed, sold, scrapped or permanently exported. Your son is valid until your vehicle is taxed, sold, scrapped, or permanently exported. Your vehicle must be in and remain in Great Britain for your son to be valid. Not all 30 mile per hour roads have the designated maximum speed displayed. How do you know if you are driving along a road that has a speed limit of 30 miles per hour? There are single or double yellow lines on the road. There are hazard warning lines on the road. There are pedestrian islands on the road. There is street lighting. The answer is there is street lighting. The presence of street lighting for pedestrians suggests that it is a built up area. The speed limit for built up areas is 30 30 miles per hour. What makes a Toucan crossing different from other crossings? It is controlled by a police officer or traffic warden. Cyclists can use it. Only children can use it. Its lights are different from those at other crossings. The answer is cyclists can use it. Cyclists can use Toucan crossings. When you are driving. There is a police car behind you. The police officer flashes you and then points to the left. What should you do? Come to an immediate halt. Drive closer to the curb so that the police car can pass you. Pull over to the left as soon as it is safe to do so. Take the next left turn. The answer is pull over to the left as soon as it is safe to do so. Under these circumstances, you are being directed to pull over so that the officer can speak to you. However, you must do it safely without obstructing or causing inconvenience to other road users. You are driving on a motorway and are getting tired, so you decide that you need to stop. Where should you do this? On the slip road? At a service station? On the central reservation? On the hard shoulder? The answer is at a service station. You are not allowed to stop for a rest anywhere on a motorway except at a service station. Stopping anywhere else would be too dangerous. If you are towing a caravan, are you allowed to carry passengers in it? Yes, if the caravan has the added precaution of a stabilizer wheel. No, never. Yes, if they are over the age of 16. Yes, but only if the towing vehicle has no empty seats. The answer is no, never. It is illegal to carry passengers in a caravan whilst it is being towed because it is far too dangerous. 
You are driving along a three-lane motorway while towing a trailer. You must not use the right-hand lane. Drive faster than 50 miles per hour. Overtake. Tow without having a stabilizer fitted. The answer is use the right-hand lane. You are not allowed to use the right-hand lane when you are towing a trailer because you would obstruct the flow of traffic. This is because the national speed limit when you are towing a trailer on a motorway is 60 miles per hour. You can use the right-hand lane of a three-lane dual carriageway for driving over 50 miles per hour only, overtaking only, turning right only, overtaking and turning right. The answer is overtaking and turning right. If you have put too much oil in your engine, it could do serious damage. The oil pressure could rise too high. It could leak out. All of the above could occur. The answer is all of the above could occur. Do not add so much oil that the level rises above the maximum mark. You'll cause excessive oil pressure that could damage the engine seals and gaskets and lead to oil leaks. Also, moving internal parts could hit the oil surface and do serious or even terminal damage. You have had to use the hard shoulder on a motorway, but now you need to rejoin the carriageway. You should build up your speed on the hard shoulder before joining the carriageway. Wait for a gap in the traffic, pull on to the carriageway, and then build up your speed. Pull on to the carriageway with your hazard lights on so that other traffic will be more aware of you. Indicate your intention and then wait for another driver to flash his or her lights at you. The answer is build up your speed on the hard shoulder before joining the carriageway. Build up your speed on the hard shoulder before you join the carriageway so that you will not obstruct the flow of traffic on it. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video please subscribe, share, like and don't forget to click the bell icon to get more videos.